Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today we are making this beautiful baby nest step-by-step -step tutorial. You can make this nest for a gift for someone that is expecting a baby. You can also make it for someone for a baby shower or for yourself. And I have made this already. This is how the inside of the baby nest look. I just make this cushion so that it is more soft and comfortable for the child when she is sleeping or resting in inside the baby nest please subscribe to our youtube comment down below if you have any question like the video so that we can get more traction and watch the video until the end so that you understand how i put everything together step by step follow us on all social media platforms at helloinjay.design Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Hello Angel Door Design. When you make this baby nest, please do tag us on your Instagram page and also tag us on your Facebook page and always share our video. We appreciate each and every one of you and let's jump right to the tutorial. First thing that you have to do, make sure you have your fabric ready. I have two different kinds of fabric right here. For this fabric, we are going to place it inside the baby nest and I'm going to show you how to achieve that. So let's put our pattern paper on our fabric and cut it out. This is my fabric, so I have folded my fabric. I fold my fabric into two and then I fold it again for the second time. That means you fold it into four. So this side is all folded. You can see this side is all folded. This side is folded. This side is also folded. Why this side will be the raw edges. So what I'm going to do, I will take my pin. I will just use it to secure the top edge together so that I know the fabric are equal. Cool. I have pinned my fabric together. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to take my first pattern paper. I will place it like this. Make sure that this is the top edge and they are both matched. And this is the fold hem side. And make sure that your fabric is on fold. And I will take my pin. I will secure it together. I have used my pin to secure the pattern together. So what I'm going to do, I will take my marker and just connect it together. I have used my marker to mark it all around. So what I'm going to do, I will just remove my pins and this is my marker right here. And I will take my ruler and connect all those marks together. I have connected all the mark together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you take the second pieces of your pattern paper. You are going to place it like this. So the way you place it, make sure that this mark and the edges of this pattern are both matched. And then you put them together. Once you have done putting them together, take your pin, pin it all in place. Once you have done pin it, take your marker and just connect the mark together all over again. I have connected all the mark together. This is how it is. And the next thing that you have to do, you see the way we did right here, you have to also turn your fabric. You repeat the same process on this other side. When you open your fabric, it's going to be the same. You also have to repeat the same process when you open your fabric. So all you have to do, you just take your pattern paper like this. You place it at the top edge. Connect all the mark together and you take the second pieces, you repeat the same process, place it like this and connect all the mark together. When you open the fabric, you know that we haven't opened the fabric yet. When you open the fabric, you have to also go ahead and connect all the mark together. I place all my mark together. This is how it is. This is for the front. And I've also marked on this other side of the fabric. And inside the fabric, I have also placed all my mark together. This is how it is. Make sure you should do the same. The, I just put the fabric together all over again and I secure it with a pin at the top edge. What I'm going to do, I am going to add my sewing seam allowance and my strap seam allowance. So my seam allowance is going to be 1.5 centimeter depends on the seam allowance that you prefer you go ahead and add it all around once you have done adding your seam allowance you take your scissors you cut it out I have cut out my fabric. This is how it is. I'm just going to open it for you guys to see. This is how it will look once you open your fabric. So what I'm going to do, 
I am going to place it on my lining and cut it out. I'm going to use the same fabric to lining the baby nest. And when you cut it out, you don't need to enter all this mark on your lining. You, you just place only this mark on your male fabric. And when you are placing all the mark on your male fabric, make sure that you're placing it at the front of the fabric, not at the back. Because if you place it at the back of the fabric, you cannot stitch along the mark that you have already marked. So make sure you place it on the front of the fabric. So what I'm going to do, I will just place my fabric on my lining and then cut it out. I have used my May fabric to cut out my lining. So this is my lining, this is my May fabric. So I will put my lining aside and you can also see that on my May fabric, I have take a measurement. So I will just open my May fabric like this. From the edges right here, I measure inside one centimeter. From this line, I measure 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. This one centimeter is what we are going to use it to stitch the fabric all around. And the 1.3 centimeter or half an inch, that is where we are going to attach our strap. I have already made my strap ready. So this is what is going to go in between the strap. Make sure you should make your strap. I believe a lot of you know how to make strap. You make it as a bias binding. So the next thing that we have to do, we are going to fold this fabric into two. So to do that, you just pick your fabric like this. You fold it into two like this. I have fold the fabric into two. You can use your hand to create a crease right here. Once you use your hand to create a crease, the next thing that you have to do, you open it like this. Cut interfacing, place it on your fabric like this. Take it to your ironing board and iron interfacing on your fabric. I have iron interfacing on my fabric. The next thing that you have to do, you pick your measuring tape, you place it at the center crease, you measure down three centimeter is right here. And then you also measure on this other side, three centimeter is right here. Once you take that measurement, the next thing that you have to do, you take your button, place it like this, and just give it a, a mark like that. Place your button on the other side and repeat the same process, just give it a mark. Once you have done that, take your ruler and just connect that mark together like this. And you come down on this side, you repeat the same process, connect the mark together. I have connected the mark together, this is how it look. The next thing that you have to do, take your fabric to your sewing machine. In between this gap, you're going to stitch a buttonhole. In between this gap, you're going to stitch a buttonhole. Once you have done stitching your buttonhole, what you are going to do, you remove the excess of the interfacing. You just go ahead and remove the excess of the interfacing. I have stitched my buttonhole and I take my seam ripper to rip it in between and I also do the same thing on this other side. The next thing that you have to do, you open your fabric like this. We are going to take the measurement. So what you are going to do, this is the center crease of the fabric. You place your measuring tape like this, you measure down 12 centimeter is right here. And then you come to this other side, you measure down 12 centimeter is right here. I have taken my measurement. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to place a pin right here. And I will place the second pin right here. And I will take my lining. I am going to place my lining on top of it. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. I will take my pin. Pin it all around. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. I have given it a top stitch, this is how it is, and I take my scissors and snip around the curved edge. Make sure to do that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put our hand inside here, turn it inside out. Once I am done doing that, I will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. 
I have ironed my fabric. This is how it is once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, this other part right here, you can see where we trace it all out. We are going to take a measurement. What you are going to do, you take your measuring tape or your ruler. From this other end, you measure 12 centimeter. I have taken the measurement and you also go ahead and repeat the same process on this side. Place your measuring tape at the center crease. You measure down 12 centimeter. So the total measurement that you're going to take is going to be 24 centimeter. Once you take that measurement, the next thing that you have to do, you are going to top stitch. So when you are stitching, you start from where your 12 centimeter end, you go ahead and stitch it all around and then you end on the other side where the other side 12 centimeter end. Once you have stitched that together, you come to the edges. This is where we are going to attach our strap. You go ahead and stitch it all around. My seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, you go ahead and stitch it all around and end on the other side. So you are going to end right here. Make sure don't close the gap yet. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a good press. This is how it look right now. The next thing that we have to do, we, we are going to place our pattern paper on our cutting batting. Or if you have a foam, place your pat pattern paper and cut that out. And I'm going to show you how to cut it out. Take your cutting batting. If you don't have a cutting batting, you can use the other kind that most people usually use. Or you can also use a foam. So I have folded my cutting batting into two like this and then I will fold it all over again like this just the same way we cut our fabric you fold it all over again and then you pick your pattern paper this is the fold hem side you place it on your cutting batting or whatever you're using you place it like this take your pin use a pin to secure it together and cut it out i'll cut about five or six cutting batting and then i will take it to my sewing machine and join everything together I have stitched my cutting batting together. This is how it look once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take our fabric and we are going to put it inside the fabric. This is where the open gap is. So I will pick my cutting batting, fold it like this, and I'm going to put it inside. So you just go ahead and put it inside gradually. I have placed my cutting batting inside. This is how it is. Once you place your cutting batting inside, make sure that you, you put your hand inside and use it to smoothen it out very nicely. This is how it look once you have done that. And this is the open gap that we use to put the cutting batting inside. So what you are going to do, you are going to take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all the way down. You are not stitching here yet because we have to put stuffing on this side. So just take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it look once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our safety pin on our bias binding that we make. If you don't know how to make bias binding, I have shown many times on my YouTube on how to make bias binding. So I have made my already, make sure you cut a very long rope and you stitch it together. So what we are going to do, we are going to pass it through this button hole right 
here, you pass it through like this. Once you pass it through, and then you pass it through this hole that we stitched already, you just go ahead and pass it all the way around the fabric. Pass my rope all around the fabric. This is how it is once you have passed your rope. And you pass it, make sure you have a very long rope. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put stuffing inside this part of the fabric. So this is my stuffing right here. What I'm going to do, I am going to pick your stuffing. You keep putting it inside all around the fabric gradually. I have put my stuffing around the baby nest. This is how it is once you have done that. This is our open gap, which I have used my pin to pin. So the way to close this open gap, remember when we first stitch it, we first stitch the fabric around with one centimeter seam allowance. So I just fold the one centimeter seam allowance and I pin it all down. So I will take it to my sewing machine and give it a top stitch all the way down. Once I am done with that, I will continue with my 1.3 centimeter or half an inch and I will go ahead and stitch it all over again. I have top stitched the open gap. This is how it is once you have top stitched the open gap. Before we start pulling the strap inside this baby nest, first thing that we have to do, we have to make a cushion inside so that it's more soft when the baby lie on the baby nest. So I will put my baby nest aside and this is my fabric. I have folded the fabric into two and I fold it all over again. I join my fabric right here because I don't have enough fabric. So what you are going to do, you take your pattern paper, place it like this. You are going to trace it all out once you trace it all out, take your scissors and cut it out. When you are cutting them, um, remember to add your seam allowance. So I'm going to add one centimeter seam allowance. I will go ahead and pin it all around once I am done pinning and then I will cut it out. I have cut out my fabric. This is how it is. This is the back of the fabric and this is the front. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to take this other fabric. I will just open it like this. This is the front of the fabric. I'm going to put the both front fabric together like this. Once you have done put them together, take your pin, pin it all around and take your scissors and cut it out. Once you have done cutting, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Remember to leave a gap. So from this center point, I'm going to measure down 12 centimeter. From this other center point, I will measure down 12 centimeter. That is the gap that I'm going to leave right here so that I can be able to turn it inside out. Once you have done stitching, trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. Allowance. Take your scissors, snip around the curved edge, turn it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a nice good press. Give it a top stitch. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. This is how it looks and this is where I turn it inside out. The next thing that you have to do, you have to place your cutting batting inside. All you have to do, place your pattern paper on your cutting batting and cut it out. For me, I have about four pieces right here. I just joined them together. So what you are going to do, this open gap right here, you just place your cutting body inside gradually and make sure you fix them properly. I have placed my cutting batting inside. This is how it is. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to close this open gap. So what you're going to do, fold it inside one centimeter, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is once you have done that. And I went ahead and just stitch it together like this to secure the batting and the male fabric together. This is how it look once you have done stitching yours. And I went ahead and make another one right here. You can see how this is. And this is also the male fabric. You can stitch multiple so that you can always change 
This can be on the washing machine while you pour this one in. When this one is dirty, you can also replace it with the other one. So what we are going to do, we are going to place it on our baby nest. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to pull our strap right here. So all you have to do, you just pull it like this. You can see when I pull it, it kind of folds. You just pull it like this and then you pull the other one. You can see the way I'm pulling it. You just keep pulling it like that. I have pulled the strap. Once you pull the strap, this is how your baby nest will look. It is beautiful. It is step-by-step -step tutorial. I will recommend that you should watch this video until the end so that you know how I put everything together step-by-step. -step. So once you have done pulling, the next thing that you have to do, you just put your cushion inside so that it's more soft and nice when the baby is sleeping on it. So this is the final look of my baby nest. It's beautiful step-by-step -step tutorial. Please like the video so that we can get more traction. Comment down below, share the video to your friends and and loved one and subscribe subscription is free like is free comment is free and sharing is also free thank you for watching our video we appreciate each and every one of you and have a wonderful wonderful day bye